Hi guys, so this video it's going to be very different because I am going to talk about Trekking and hiking shoes Many people get me asking what kind of shoes I wear, what, where I buy the shoes from and the favorite brand that I like to wear. So today I just wanted to flaunt you guys the shoes that I have. I still have some more in my shelf but I decided I will show the different brands. Well, so far I have trekked to almost all the trekking trails in Bhutan. Guys, Jenkins Gary, we finally made it to Tofu Lake. The beauty of coming beyond the places. Almost 5,000 meters above sea level, so we're so proud of ourselves. And one of the things that I noticed for the beginner trekker is always the shoes. Uh, for me, the first thing when I pack up my bag, I always consider wearing a good shoes because when you're up at the mountain, it's only the shoes that will keep you safe and warm. So I heavily believe in investing on shoes. So that's why I believe in purchasing good shoes. Few hundred dollars extra, doesn't matter. Always get a new good grip shoe. So, okay. Let, I don't know from where I should be starting. So okay, maybe from this. So I have this two two color shoe from brand Sitar. I don't know is that the right word to spell or not. It's Sitar. I got this from Nepal and I've been wearing these shoes for the last four years, guys. I'm telling you, this is so good. It lasts so long. And the most important thing when you buy a trekking shoe is always check out. For the tag where there's waterproof tag oops so always make sure you buy trekking shoes which are waterproof so these shoes there's this leather uh, finishing here so it is it lasts so long and it is totally worth the investment i think i paid like hundred dollar each for these shoes so this is the least expensive shoes that i have from my trekking shoes oh no i think this one is the least expensive i just wore this few days back so it's still dirty so this is quechua trekking shoes it is very warm uh, because it's all it's like my ankle length shoes so and at the same time there's no la lace so it makes uh, trekker and hikers uh i don't know journey so easy you just have to like ooh unlock get your shoes inside and keep your feet warm so i always make if i'm trekking i always make sure i carry at least two shoes with me so if i'm taking this this trekking shoes i will definitely take this with me because since this one's long warm and easy to unlock i would wear this by the end of my hike and i would wear this while hiking so it's it's always recommended or it's always nice to carry two shoes so i like this one this one i think i i paid like three thousand no drum or so i bought from bhutan rest shoes rest of the shoes are all imported and this shoe it's my personal favorite because my best friend gifted me this and this flew in all the way from us and this is the sketcher i know many people think sketches do not have hiking boot well if you think so you're totally wrong this is from sketches and they have this nice outdoor um ultra hiking trekking boot like even the inner sole it's like cinderella it's very soft as soft as cotton so i really like how these things are made and it's it looks very bulky but it's like it's so light it's as light as feathers so i would definitely recommend you all to check out this uh hiking boot when you go to sketches store so this is from sketches it's pretty isn't it and what else what else 
and and wait see what i'm wearing so i am wearing this nike um combat boot this is so comfortable it feels like heaven your feet feels like heaven and and wait see what i'm wearing so i am wearing this nike um combat boot this is so comfortable it feels like heaven your feet feels like heaven i have because this shoes requires air so we have to really pump in the air from in here and then it looks very thick right it's all air inside so it's very comfortable and you can actually carry it like this so this is a very new version from nike so i have i do i don't even have nike sneakers but this is the first nike hiking boot that i got so this is really cool i think it comes to around 200 dollars so yeah really cozy but it's very bulky honestly it's very bulky uh this boot is too good especially if you're hiking in the snow like it protects you it keeps you warm your ankles are safe so it, it's 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 very soft and even the grip is like you're not going to sleep sleep when you're hiking on the snow so the grip it's too good okay yeah so get this bulky but it's too cool it's very trendy shoes and of all this shoe got to be the most expensive shoes that i ever own so this shoe is none other than from salomon some people call it salmon salomon solomon but this one is solomon shoes um the most expensive i own so i have the grip it's too good see i have been wearing these shoes quite often uh, i cherish this a lot because it's one of the best hiking shoes in the world and it's very pricey it's very expensive so unnecessarily i don't wear these shoes i wear it only during special occasions so yeah, every time i hit new trail that's when i wear the shoes so yeah this is salomon um I, I think i like everything about salomon brand the only thing that depresses me is it did not come in colors like it's not that colorful they always have that light not light dark shades uh shoes so salomon do not come in varieties of color unlike this sitar shoes like they have various uh colors so it's like rainbow colors from this brand even sketches are very colorful uh quechua it's it comes in colors and quechua it comes in this brand also so yeah it depends on what kind of shoes that you're wearing